Hello guys, hope you guys are blessed. My name is James. I'm speaking about the difference between authority and power. It's not really explained too much dealing with it, and it's a really there's a really big difference between these. So let's go ahead and get started. Exousia is authority, and deutimus is power. Now, exousia is more the kingdom. So it's usually through relationship with Jesus Christ. Now remember, Jesus said he has been given all authority. So if he's been given all authority, how much has he given us? See, he doesn't ever say inside the scripture that he has given us all authority. He said all authority has been handed unto him. So the closer we are to him, the more he trusts us and the more authority we can grow into. You see, it's kind of like positions and promotions. You grow into that, right? See, so relationship. So power, dunamis, is grace. So, I mean, you get it's grace for authority as well, but grace here for miracles, explo it means explosive. So dunamis is like dynamite. So it blows, it blows up. So dealing with these things, it's the power gifts. Now, remember the gifts can be given without repentance. That's Romans eleven twenty nine. 29. So power can be given without repentance. So what happens is we need both of them to work together. We need to, we, we need both of these because one doesn't go without the other. But here's the thing, what happens a lot of times with ministers, as they begin to grow and they go all the way up here, if they forget about the Lord, they keep their gifts and the authority goes. So now what happens is power without authority is abuse. See, power without authority is abuse. So with that, it eventually catches up and sin catches up. It's what happened with Samson. We see that inside the Bible dealing with it. He kept on seeing, kept on doing these things and the authority left dealing with it and the sin caught up to him and he still had the power. And then eventually he ended up getting it all back to whenever he repented unto God. Hallelujah. So Jude 1, 9, goes to say, But Michael the archangel, when he disputed with the devil and argued about the body of Moses, did not dare pronounce against him a railing judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. So it was power versus power. You know, the angels have power. Um, Satan has power. His authority has been stripped because he actually said it in the wilderness. He said, You know, if you bow down to me, I will give you that has been given unto me all the kingdoms. And Jesus said, You shall worship the Lord your God and him only. So we go to see that. He got it stripped when Jesus went to that cross. So now he's only working with power. Now power can manipulate. That's it. Gifts. He has no covering now. There, there's no there's no legal right like backup unless we give him authority. So now he looks to us to give him authority. So we see that with that, we do not fight Satan with power versus power. It will be a fight. Even if we do win, it will be a fight. We need God's authority. He said, the Lord rebuke you. He knew the Lord. Michael the archangel obviously knows the Lord. He said, the Lord rebuke you, Satan, and he left. It doesn't say he argued with him. It's because he, he knew he knew God. He knew who he was. So Mark 1.22 goes on to say, They were amazed at his teaching. For his teaching, he was teaching them as one having authority, not as the scribes. So he taught as one having authority. And a little bit later on, it goes to show that he cast out a demon and it left just by his words. And an unclean spirit obeyed him. It obeyed him. That's what they said. Even the unclean spirits obey him. Why did they obey him? Because he had such a relationship with the Father. He had so much authority in that moment. And he taught us how to live, to walk that way too. And we can in him and through him. But he, when he had so much authority, the power came with it. Now, like I said, people grow with authority and power and they get up here. But when they begin to depart from the Lord, their authority begins to go. And it isn't the Lord taking it. What happens, they push away from the Lord. That's what happens. The sin pushes the Lord away. So when that happens, they only walk in power. And that's the difference. See, under authority brings success as well. You know, even the man came to him. I'm one who's under authority. If you say the word, it's done. And he said, I am not seeing such great faith in Israel. They also asked Jesus, by what authority do you do these things? And he went on to say, what, okay, let me ask you this. Was John's baptism of heaven or not? And they wouldn't tell him. He said, I won't tell you what authority I do this under. Because John was the voice and Jesus is the word coming from the voice. So if they aren't going to listen to the voice, they aren't going to hear the word of God, you see. So having a right to do something. So authority gives us a right to do something. We know the Lord's ways. For instance, I can walk up in power and things like that in the Lord. I can choose to do it when I want because it's a gift. But if I do that, I can abuse God's authority and what can happen? I can get in big trouble. But when I know the Lord, he'll say, James, do this. Or, oh, do this. Or, oh, do this. He'll tell you what to do. And now you will not misrepresent -re him. That's what I mean. Represent him pretty much. Yeah. We have to represent him in the great way. So inside those ways, we will not do these things in a bad way. Misrepresent is what I was looking for. So we won't misrepresent him inside a bad way. We will do it all inside the right way. 
So intimacy with the Holy Spirit, it's growing in the knowledge of God that gains more relationship for him to trust us more with his authority. Zechariah 4, 6 says, you know, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Spirit is authority. Now we see this because Jesus showed all these miracles, you know, resurrected dead, all this stuff. But yet it said in scripture, his disciples still didn't believe in him. Then it says they did. Then it says they didn't. Then it says people did and people didn't. Why? Spirit was not yet given. It was coming upon. It had not yet come inside. That's what the Holy Spirit was going to be given after Jesus was taken up. So we see that power shows who God is, but it doesn't necessarily change them the same way as authority does the Spirit. So the Spirit working with power is what changes it. And when the Holy Spirit came, they brought back remembrance to all, and they kept their belief and did not doubt Jesus again. We see that in the book of Acts with Pentecost. So we see these things. Power doesn't change like that. Authority by a spirit is what changes a human being. That's why it says not by might nor by power, but by my spirit is what changes you inside and out. It's getting closer to Jesus Christ. That's it. So with that, we go to see that's how it is. So gifts and callings can be given without repentance, but authority comes with repentance. God bless you.